So, we need to head to the village of Ix, because that's who we're here to help. Fuck the mines. Also, fuck the spiders. Welcome to the spitting spider. Nice. As the game tells you, his webbing slows you down. Yeah. He's not very friendly. Uh, something interesting to note for you about the charge, by the way, is you know how when you stand still, you have your shield up? Mm -hmm. When you charge with the shield, your shield is still up in that direction. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's a way to test it. I wanted to see. Oh, I, mean, I, already took I would have just apples. believed me instead of sprinting against a wall, but uh, maybe I'm just crazy. Well, I mean, you are. Well, that too. Hey, what's up, bandit guy? How good of an idea was this? Was this a good idea? Did, did this work out for you? Are you trying to teach your... <laughs> <laughs> um, save your game. I'm just, I'm just gonna throw. I know you saved like two feet ago, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Ooh, two paths. Ooh, hello. Bandit camp. Uh, you just walked by a sword, by the way. So that does appear to be a bandit camp of some kind. And this appears to be a cave with some bats. And a swamp. Yep, also a swamp. So what did the bats have in their cave? Well, that guy's a corpse. There's just friendly shit all over this forest, isn't there? Yeah, you did it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you could also just walk into the chest to open them. Oh, you could have told me that like an hour ago. <laughs> you have any idea how I, hard this is? Oh, oh, hello. That didn't occur to me how much you were struggling. Also, don't forget to watch your health and hit X when you need to. Touche. Because you can do that totally mid combat and everything. Can. I'm just saying when occasionally your health is disintegrating when being attacked by multiple bandits. So, you're picking up a bunch of shit that you can sell when you get back to the market. Mm hmm. Hey, dead guy. Is this, uh, is this good quarter stuff? Nah, it's flimsy. You were just a peasant. Also, interesting, uh, fact. After you break these barrels, go back out to the lake. Ooh, steak. And nothing else breakable. So go out on this little pier thing. So there is a wall, of course, that will block you from walking out onto that water, right? Because it's water. Mm -hmm. If you uh, have a spell that lets you telepoint to where your cursor is, which is not something you get during uh, actual gameplay, it's multiplayer only, but you can cheat to get it. You can teleport out onto that water and walk around normally. It's just ground. But they have a wall to block you from walking out onto it. Huh. Just a little interesting design information for you. Yeah, so now right. what you probably want to do is go back a little ways, save your game, and then see about clearing out that bandit camp. Stay up right here. Yeah. I'm going to see what's over. Nice bandit camp. Might have some uh, some valuable shit. Did you go, warrior? And maybe there's a den of wolves, or a den of wolf, I guess. Who had lots of steak, cool. with very much steak. I, I believe the cooler way of saying den of wolf is wolf's den. I guess. It still kind of sounds like there's multiple wolves. So this is the village that you're heading to. That's progress. Let's go back. Exactly. Rock formation. I don't know about you, bandit. but I'm kind of curious as to what a bunch of fucking bandits have. Okay, we're gonna get a little closer. I'm gonna save again. Yeah, it's yeah. good. I like how you just have his corpse there to mark where they start firing arrows at you. Ow! 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 Oh God! They're shooting out of the. 
arrow holes. Wow. Yeah, they're shooting through window slits. But you seem safe from the arrows right here. There you go. Fuck that guy. Ooh, more steak. And you got some arrows to sell. And more steaks. Ow. Yeah. That's what you get for. Isn't it nice to just walk into the treasure chest? Yes. Isn't it good that you could do that from the start? It's, it's so good that, that you told me that from the very beginning. Absolutely. I don't know why you didn't use it. <laughs> uh, you might also want to eat a steak before you keep going. Oh, good point. Uh, steak. There you go. Hey, potion. Oh, I didn't even see that. Well, wow. <laughs> you are so blind. <laughs> I, like, I hit it, and if I don't immediately see something, I'm looking away on somewhere else on the screen, so naturally don't see it. Ooh, more bandits. And that guy got some point-blank shots in on you. That's rude. Oh, oh, you hit a table. Oh, you're stunned. Hit X. There you go. <laughs> you did it, Ebo. And you got 30 gold for your troubles. Now here's an interesting thing. Uh, smash that wine cask. I wonder if this is one of the places. Oh. Yep. Secrets on secrets, my friend. Charge it. Yeah. You got it. And look, more treasure. There's also gold that was already sitting on the ground. There you go. Yeah, the, the one bandit dropped. Ooh, and a sword. Yep. Man, and this place is boxes. loaded. Yeah, wouldn't it have been a shame if you didn't find this? Ooh, hello. What is that? Uh, probably a sturdy, yeah, sturdy iron sword. Yeah, not better than mine. Uh, did you drop any arrows? No. And I don't think there's any more secrets downstairs. I could be wrong. You could try to smack a couple of walls if you want. The nice thing, at least, is you don't have to smack any walls upstairs because you can see the other side of those walls. And this game doesn't make any particular use of impossible space. By the way, cool thing, if you notice uh, how you can see that extra room on the map, if you walk around the building, that gives you a hint that there is more to this building. Oh, yeah. Because if you walk all the way around, you're like, huh, there's this bulge, but it's not in the main room. What's up with that? I'm not going to lie. So I actually temporarily forgot I had a map. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, this is why I keep talking. It's actually not to make this entertaining at all. It's just to help you get through the game. <laughs> I'm good at video games, okay? <laughs> uh, by the way, to the left of this bridge after you pass it, uh, I believe that is a path. Hmm. Ah, look at this path. Hmm. Hmm. What could this be? Wolves. Lots of wolves. Bitey wolves. Wolves oddly guarding treasure. But the other thing is because every kill gets you experience, just fighting monsters is also its own reward. Mm -hmm. Whoever came up with the system of granting experience for killing monsters is a fucking genius. Was that Gygax? It might have just been Gygax. I don't know. And look, you got a chest. Um, Here's an interesting thing. Check uh, how much money you have. Uh, you might want to go back to the shopping mall, sell everything, and see if you might be able to scrape by on getting that badass sword. Longsword. Yeah, a longsword, and I think it was also sparks, like the one you have now. Mm -hmm. It was, yep. Um, I know monsters will have elemental weaknesses later, but for right now, it's just really nice to have that extra spark You're not damage. Going to find anybody around here with better prices. And as far as I remember, uh, sell prices are the same for every merchant, so you don't have to worry about that shit. That's always good. Yeah, I think. Don't 100% quote me on it. It's been a long time since I did a full playthrough of this game. 
Don't uh, ask. Stop. Hit enter. Uh, so click on that. Hit enter. Okay, I, I tried. I was hoping there might be a little bit faster way to do it. Nope, unfortunately not. I actually have to hit out. Nope. Um, yeah, it's not really worth it to get any of the others either. Hopefully you'll pass back by through here. Someday we'll come for you, Longsword. Um, humor me. Uh, see how much he would buy your, uh, your Sword of Spark for. Uh, I think you have to go click sell again. Yeah, not okay, nope. close to enough. Yeah, I I don't think even if you sold everything, you could roll around naked with your cool new sword. <laughs> Alright, well, on to the city of Ix, or the town of Ix. There's not particularly... Well, there's one kind of city in this game. The metropolis of Ix. Might also talk to these guys since pretty much every static NPC gets lines. Greetings. You must be the great warrior horrendous dispatch to aid our beloved village of Ix. How do you know about this before I got here? Um, because they probably informed the guards when they made the deal. So you can enter the village. Also, you look like a warrior. Really, you think? I don't know. I kind of look like a wizard. Well, you could arguably look like a bandit. Whoa, this guy Behold, just... Behold, Theogrin of the, the Teal Tunic. Have gone mad. They burrowed into the city and stole my scepter. A warrior chased the little pests into the cemetery, but hasn't returned yet. Go into the cemetery, located east of here, and recover my scepter from the urchins. When you return, please see me. I should be in my house at the center of town. They give you so much more dialogue than they have to for what are frankly simple quests, and I really like that. So check this guy out. Brotherhood supplies enchantments and spells to the conjurers of Ix. Thanks, Mystic. So he also has a scroll, but you already have a wolf scroll. Mm -hmm. uh, you could, if you wanted, drop a couple of mo uh, gold on more health potions. Nah, I think I'm good. All right. You got steaks and apples to heal up uh, in between. Um, why don't you do me a favor? Open your inventory. I want. I want to try something. Uh, drag an apple down to the D spot on your hot bar. Okay. Nope. That is not a thing. No. I tried. What's up, this guy? Excuse me, hello. This is my home. Can I help you? The fuck are you doing in my house, buddy? Oh. Yeah, alright, fair. I guess I'll go. Your house doesn't have a kitchen or a bathroom. Fuck you. Boom. Right, so, yeah, it's the usual RPG style. Go into people's houses, take their shit, no one cares. <laughs> what are they gonna do? Stop me? Stop you with their no weapons? And then this guy's got a little uh, backyard with an apple tree. Isn't that nice? Uh -huh. That is actually kind of nice. I also like the general sounds in these games. So uh, go back to the uh, left or back to the in that alley right there. OK, keep going up, up through the alley. That's down. Up, 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 up. This guy has a side door that goes into its own room. Oh. And you got a tunic. And then there might be items in the bottom corner there when you smash the other barrels. Sturdy tunic. This is your flimsy tunic. Bam, that's better. Upgrades, yo. Now go back into that door, though, because I think some stuff blew into the like bottom corner here when you... Yeah, there you go. More apples. Okay, it was five gold and an apple or something, but still, gold is gold. And then, so the next merchant you find, you can sell your flimsy shitty tunic to. West exit. Here. Yep. Hey, Hello, look, sir. No shop. Ah, stranger. Let's get to know each other. Sure. Let's buy something. So, behold your first chainmail tunic that you cannot fucking afford. Not even remotely. 
uh, what you could get if you didn't just want to save up for the longsword is there are better and cooler looking boots for 400. There's also a mighty tunic that I believe does some regen. Uh, level 1 regeneration. Hmm. I do like regeneration, though. Uh, check how much better the armor is than the tunic you just picked up. So 156 to 162. Eh. It's kind of a lot to take most of your money. Although if I get these leggings of cure yeah. wounds. And if I recall, your arm guards already give you poison resistance, so the leggings that you have aren't doing much for you. And then you can sell your leggings of the wasp bait. Look at you go. Upgrades, yo! Now, something interesting. Uh, go back into his shop. Your gold is so you see how he... Oh, uh, go to buy. So you see how he has shuriken? Mm -hmm. Those are the warrior's ranged weapon. Um, they do use ammunition, but I think that's the durability means that you get 10 throws. Uh, and looks it looks like, cool, too. Looks like I get 20. Nice. I don't know how the fuck we were supposed to guess 20. That number was nowhere on screen. You can't hurt these guys, don't worry about it. So throw it at that stuff. Yeah, look at that range. That could be super useful. Mm, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, and now obviously load when you didn't throw six of those. Welcome. New here, aren't you? Your money is so what you can do you. is you can put those shuriken in your V spot, and then you can quick swap to a ranged weapon. <laughs> My V spot, eh? I did not do that intentionally. Greetings, sir. Still Greetings hilarious. Okay, weapons. now I'm gonna sell the this sword. This is the yep. place. Uh, while you're in the shop, you might also want to repair. Gold is always Good point. Here. You did clear out a whole bandit den. And, and yeah. bat cave and wolf Some den. Some wolves. Wow, that actually cost me 44 to repair my sword. Yes, that, that was needed. And it is a magical sword, so it's gonna be expensive. True. Uh, the other thing, so you remember how your quest involves fighting urchins? Mm -hmm. Don't forget that you have that stunning shout. That one. Yes. Because trolls may not be considered weak enough for that to work, but Filter urchin Lewis, sure as fuck I are. Interest you in a charmed beast to accompany you on your quest? So hey, Ebo, you remember in old computer RPGs that you could just straight hire fucking NPCs? Yeah. You can buy yourself a wolf. No thanks, goodbye. There are also a couple of more buildings in town, and you are heading on your way out of town. Just to minimize time uh, with backtracking. So we got this place, which is just some dude's living room. So, Ebo, you now... You remember the old pirate joke about the uh, ship's captain? Mm-hmm. Uh, with the red shirt. So he's... Uh, you see they're under attack, and he says, bring me my red shirt. And they win the battle, and one of his subordinates is like, why did you do that? Uh, so that if I was wounded, you would not see it and be disheartened. And everyone thinks he's very brave. And then 10 pirate ships surround them. And they look to the captain and he says, bring me my brown pants. <laughs> so in this game, you have now found a red shirt and brown pants. Oh my God. And I don't know if that's, I don't think that's like a conscious joke or anything. I'm going to wear the brown, uh, I'm going to wear the brown pants just in case. Yeah. So you got this place, which I believe is a tavern. Yep. So he might actually sell some uh, healing type items as well. The urchins aren't the only problem. There are a bunch of crazed animals attacking the villagers. Yeah. So okay. So yeah, he's got some basic food items. Cider and steak and stuff. You can also go into these rooms and smash all of his shit, and just steal this woman's also brown pants. Thieving urchins stole the mayor's scepter. <laughs> He'll never get it back. Wow, you don't have a lot of confidence in your government, Christine. Oh, I can't blame her. They hired some random warrior they never met before to 
you know, get it Well, back to be to fair, they didn't hire you. They basically went to the Warriors Guild. It's oh. like hiring a ninja in Naruto. You just go to the Leaf Village and you're like, please give me some goddamn ninja. Greetings, warrior. There is no archery contest today. So the reason this is here, but you can't use it, is because Ix is also in the other uh, characters' quests as well. Mm. But because I don't believe warriors can even use a bow, it's of no interest to you. Okay. And I think that oh. I haven't done the main building yet. I also, I'm not sure you can go into there until you uh, do the quest, but feel free to... Okay, yeah, go check out the mayor's house. Fuck him. Take what is his and make it yours. Those nettlesome urchins are causing too much trouble these days. Don't mind me, just... Now here's something interesting. Look at your mini-map. Hmm, hidden room. Look at that, uh, that weird scepter in the corner. Hmm, a lever. Ooh. I love that his stash is a bit of money and just jugs and jugs of cider. Wow, 50 gold, right. too. Yep, and you stole the mayor's gold. Don't mind me. What's never here? All right, I think you have explored everything in town now. Correct. All right, saving, and let's head out of town. Yeah. Uh, Check how much gold you have. So, I mean, you could buy a wolf if you wanted to. Yeah, it doesn't seem worthwhile. Well, who knows? let's see how rough things are ahead. And this is just now Cove. Also, for the limited amount of power they could put into a game like this, I think the water looks pretty good. It's decent. I'm exactly. Bridge to make sure none of those wretched little urchins make their way into the town. Thanks, Bridge Guard. I appreciate you. Uh, you can grab the gold. Oh. Yep. You're able to reach through grates and things. It's good to know. All right. Down this See, way. you're getting better at checking all the paths. You are definitely picking up on that. Do you remember how you can move stuff? But be careful. No! <laughs> all right, now you're in a cave, fucker. Also, frogs and rats don't give any experience. That's a lot uh, Try a shout when you get into, like, a bunch of spiders. So you stun the little ones. Hit X. And then hit Z to cure your poison. There you go. Yeah, when you're getting swarmed, you, you're gonna need that X to heal during the middle of fights. Gonna be important. That was no, seriously it. Yep. But I mean, just getting the spiders also gave you a bunch of experience, so that kind of had value in oh. and of itself. <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm sorry, what? Uh, I was not expecting to be in someone's house. So, uh, well, here, explore the house, and then I'll say the what I have to say before you leave. So, actually, I'll tell you now. So, look at your mini map. Uh -huh. Do you notice how, kind of in the upper wall section by the uh, elevator, you see that little line that comes off the solid wall? Yeah, hints at there being another room. Yes, or sometimes it can hint at there being a broken wall there. But in general, you can see like a little hint of a line. So you just picked up a new helm. Did I? And also a ruby key. Hmm. So you have even more poison resistance now. 66. So that's 66 compared to... 66. So 66, but... Now here's the thing, though. Uh, does your cloak still give you poison resistance? Uh, no, it was my... Uh... Oh, was it the leggings? It, it was the armbands. Okay, so here's something interesting. You already have poison resistance. And that helmet doesn't give you any better defense, but that helmet will sell a lot better. Yeah, so don't use it, sell it. Yeah, so Makes keep, sense. uh, you're gonna need that key. Wait. Did I pick it up? Oh, no, you did not. Oops. 
Otherwise, I would not have told you to go back for it. So, now you're in this house. And then, here's a mysterious door. The Temple of Ix. That's not for us yet. So the cemetery is where you're going. You may want to look around that house a little bit more. Yeah. I don't actually know that there's anything up there, but it's good to check before progress. Do, 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 checking all the murder alleys. Nope. Yep. See, this game is actually refreshing to me because I've been playing mostly uh, action games lately. And so I'll keep exploring everything, but there's never anything there. It's disappointing every time. So now you're in a cemetery. Um, what I will just say, and then I'll let you go ahead and go forward and do your combat thing, is remember that urchins are susceptible to your shout. Alright, let's explore a cemetery. No skeletons yet, this isn't Diablo. <laughs> no, it is not. That is not to say that they don't exist. Okay, get in there. Doesn't last forever. And then... See how useful that is when they want to all run away? And then just remember, when you're fighting like 14 of them, keep an eye on your health. Those stones stack up eventually. Hmm. Little douchebags. And then anything that's interactable will have like the blue circle around it. Because there are going to be... There's a guy killing you. <laughs> there I can't tell the be... difference sometimes between the ones that are alive and the ones that I've already murdered. Uh, they try to... What they do generally is they kill the light on them once they're gone. Mm. It's actually a pretty decent system. But there will be, like, sarcophagi and shit you can interact with, but when you hover over them, they'll have, like, the blue interact circle on them. So basically, it allows you to explore with your cursor rather than having to run into everything. It's a pretty good system, I think. Bye, rats. All right. uh, were any of those fence areas down there, uh, like, mangled? Okay, there it is. Yeah. I see you. Throwing rocks at me. Fuck Dick. you, guy. And then now you're on the outside of the fence and you can see if there's anything cool over here. Nope. Well, not on this side. There is still the uh, bottom corner. True. Oh, I guess that requires its own section of broken fence if it even has one. Who knows? It's mysterious that... The... Uh, yeah, up above the I, tree I that it. still has leaves. Yeah. Ooh, more gold. I love games that reward you for exploration. I love it so fucking much. I I really do. Especially when we both have the habit of exploring everywhere. Exactly. Yeah, like you've seen me when I stream and stuff. I meander through games. Yeah, that's why I'm it's... fully expecting this game not to take his little amount of time as you guesstimated. Ah, I'm not too worried about it. As long as we're still having fun. Oh! Shout. Now kill. See how fucking turbo useful that is? Yeah. Little bastards love to run away, I swear to god. 